The first time I see Mr. Go using a stimulation on the, you know, the Earth thing got all the other planets, then the galaxy place. Huh? At first, I wasn't interested in all this. Huh? I find like, why physics also need to learn all these? Like, so pointless. But after I see that stimulation, then it really makes me amazed. Huh? Cause I've never ever go and find out like all the planets all these. So after seeing all the planets, it's like quite amazing. Huh? That was the only. Like, see at different angles and stuff. Yeah. One time I'm like figuring out like there's the earth, then there's a moon. Uh. So there's like the neutral point. Uh. So it's like after uh, using the this simulation, uh, I after a long time then I finally find out the neutral point and the distance like the distance from the earth. Yeah, finally find out the answer, then I like very happy. I remember the last part, the geostationary one, because that was like easy and like, because they were all similar, right? So you can just write the answer, so it's quite engaging right, that way. Because they are very well structured. On one part, they give you the same questions as the other part. Then you, you know what to expect, then you can compare them. Then according to that, you can write like 24 hours. Then for the other one, you can see that it's the same 24 hours, then you can just write down. So then there's that comparison thing, which is very good. Uh. But other questions, they were just like, quite open-ended. Exploring all the functions right, is actually quite fun uh, because I don't know what everything is all about. Then when I try to click everything, right, then it's like, it shows me different part. Then it's like very fun, I think. Yeah. Actually, if I don't understand, because I got one part I did not understand quite clearly, then I go ask uh, my, folk, my physics teacher about it. Uh, then he will explain to me. Can, but it's not that easy uh, because by having the ICT right, it helped me to simulate the real situation instead of just lecture notes because lecture don't show anything about the, how it works everything uh. It's the, the geostationary part yeah. um, Cause when, when we know that there are satellites right we don't actually know how they move but when you visualize it you can see it's going around the, uh, the equator or on the equator it's like, it's like above the equator you see it moving, then you can like actually spin it around, it's very cool. I, I think during, uh, during class, right, during lecture, then everyone's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, we were actually shocked by that. <laughs> Definitely. So you let yourself make, like, make sense, <laughs> you will. But you just look at the words, like, okay, above the equator, okay, above the equator, how does it move? Mm. You don't really know how it's moving, you can't visualize it. Right. I think maybe because I'm a visual learner, maybe for others, they will be, they can understand, but for me, I, I really can't understand if I just see the text itself.